Hi there, welcome back to Save with Crypto. My name is Save with Crypto. Okay, so last night I put out this video quite late actually. Um, this was about the KCGI um, trading competition that's going on on BitGet. Now with this, we can win a portion of the prize pool, which is half a million dollars. And there's also other prizes like Rolex watches. Uh, there's a Ferrari, which is nice, uh, and other things. And you get... Uh, ten dollars for being in the team and the first three people of which there are none so far uh, the first three people get ten dollars for free as well so uh, that's a bit of free money there if you want it uh, i need 10 people in the team to make it viable so i would love it if 10 people signed up like today that'd be really good uh, i when i did this video i didn't have the actual url um, but now i've got one because it's approved and I've also made a short URL, so it's actually bonus.bitget.com slash team. Okay, so that's in the banner up there as well. Uh, you'll see that. Okay, cool. Um, well, that's that. Um, but it is Thursday today, so Thursday is kind of metabonding day over on Multiverse X. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. But I just want to draw your attention, first of all, to this that's happening today in nine hours time um, this is about the sovereign chains on multiverse x now i've read the article by robert sasu who's one of the developers the main developer i think of sovereign chains i read his article uh a couple of times and it's so over my head i really don't know what it's all about um, if anyone can explain this to me, like as if I'm a five-year-old, uh, that'd be really good. Although I suspect that's probably uh, a bit difficult. I do, however, think it's going to be good for the price of e-gold, which, as you know, at the moment is terrible. And uh, this is kind of echoed in the comments here of the people who are waiting. I don't know why people are waiting for nine hours, but uh, Eduardo Hernandez said, Benny Lucci you need to onboard big investment firms here. It's not fair. We e-gold supporters are the only crypto losing month after month. I don't know why no one could ever spell lose properly. Everyone says losing and it's losing. Anyway, don't need two O's. Um, almost out of top 100. That is true, actually. What type of nightmare is this? Um, yeah, well, <laughs> I, I've, I bought eGold when it was $7, so I'm, I'm not complaining too much myself, although I wish I'd sold it when it was 550 but I think we'll get back there one day, just not sure when. And I did say to someone in the comments yesterday that if, when we get to the peak of this cycle, which I think is going to be either late this year or maybe the start of next year, um, and we've got like... Bitcoin over 100k, that kind of thing. If Multiverse X e gold is not at a new all time high, then I think I'm going to be sort of thinking about selling my position and getting out of it completely because uh, it really should. It really should be over a thousand, I think. E gold, it certainly shouldn't be whatever it is now, about 40 bucks. Anyway, it is Thursday, so let's go and have a look at the meta bonding. Okay, so I've got about $9 worth of uh, liquid tokens there, so let's see what I get from Metabonding. I bet it's not going to be a lot, you know. Well, I suppose about $24 worth of liquid tokens. I suppose it's not too bad, is it? So that appears to be mostly UTK, a little bit of cyber, not a lot else. Okay, let's see what I've got on Hatton Protocol. So what I get here is just a little bit of Hatton. So this will just be just a little bit of Hatton I can claim. $9.51 worth. That's all right. Now that's weird because that says it's failed, but on my phone it says I've received the Hatton. So it looks like it's gone from there. And if I refresh this page here, it oh, looks like it worked. I don't know why it said failed. So let's have a look what I've got on Zoid Pay. Uh, there's $9.50 there I can have. And then on the super farm, this is good, $54.21. Hmm. This is another one of these insufficient funds things. This is annoying. Okay, well, I've sent a message to one of the devs. This is really annoying. This shouldn't happen. 
Okay, so I've got a message back from me, Hyperpescu, saying uh, give it a go. So let's try it again, shall we? I think the point is, as me, a shopping owner, I've got access to people like me, hi. You know, regular people won't have. I mean, what are they going to do? It doesn't seem practical to sort of uh, try and get hold of a developer every time you want to do the harvest. Also, you do pay like, you know, four and a half cents when you do the harvest and it fails. I mean, I can afford it, but nevertheless, it's still irritating. Anyway, that says processing super farm harvest transaction. A little bit stranger that pop-up hasn't gone away, isn't it? What happens if I refresh the page? It says it was successful anyway. Okay, that's good. But what I mean is, you know, things like that, as much as I love Zoidpay and I love the idea of it and I, I like the team and all that, but like, you know, things like that need sorting out because it's just not good. It's just not professional. And I wonder if that's, you know, what's helping to uh, keep the price nice and low. If you want some Zoidpay, by the way, it's, it's bloody cheap at the moment, 1.2 cents. I don't think you'll see it much cheaper than that in the future. It almost makes me think that I might do a bit of trading on Qcoin and sort of like, you know, trade this kind of fluctuation here. Because that is actually, say, there to there, it's like 40%. And even just looking, say, like within this month, you know, fluctuations like that or about 10%. Might be an idea. Actually, forget that idea. I've just logged into Qcoin for the first time in about, I don't know, a year, I think. And um, they, they, a little pop-up came up saying we've introduced some sound effects to help you with notifications, right? Well, okay, but like, <laughs> look what happens when you do this sort of thing, right? And the, if you search for a ticker, why, why does it, why does it do that? And because of that, I can't use Qcoin anymore. I can't handle that noise. What a bloody stupid idea. I tried to get the uh, help up as well, but a chat bot appeared and, you know, asked me a load of irrelevant questions. And, uh, yeah, sorry, Qcoin, that's it. I've finished with you now. Actually, I was just looking at the price of uh, Zoidpay compared with the eGold, and uh, I'm not quite sure why I put this um, alert down here. I did it on the 27th of April, saying buy Zoidpay with eGold. I think the idea was I was going to sort of... Uh, you know, buy here, sell there, and that sort of thing. It, on this chart now, that's now a lower, a lower low. So it's probably about as low as it will go in e gold terms. So I think this week I might swap everything to Zoidpay, and then maybe if it goes back up like three or four percent, swap it back to e gold. I think it might do that. Hard to say though, isn't it? Well, in fact, that did actually trigger my alert that I set in April. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to get some more Zoid pay. So let's go back to X Exchange. So I think all I'll do really is just swap this UTK into Zoid pay. Uh, I'm going to keep that Hatem Cyber. May as well swap that as well. It's only two dollars, but maybe the Quo Watt as well. Okay, so there you go. I've got ninety-two dollars worth of Zoid pay. So seven and a half thousand Zoid pay. I tell you what, I'm really looking forward to when the Zoid pay app is actually out because. It would be great just to get that, put it in my Zoidpay app and then use it at the weekend to buy drinks and stuff, you know. But unfortunately, we're not there at the moment. We're still on this wave three of the testing and at the moment we can't even top the card up. So there's not even a lot we can do, even as testers. But I will, of course, keep you up to date about what's happening over there because that's something I'm actually really interested in. Other things that might happen this afternoon, is we should hear about the ETF for Ethereum. Um, I think that's the Vanek ETF. Um, if that gets approved, then I should see the price of Ethereum go up quite a lot. It's already pumped about 4% today anyway, um, but we should see it go quite mental. I'm not actually in an Ethereum trade, I'm only in Bitcoin trades at the moment, but if ETH goes up, Bitcoin will probably go up anyway. And then tomorrow I can do the farm rewards over here. So this is where I get the XMEX from these things. So it'd be like 40 bucks there and that sort of thing. That's what I'm doing, okay? Um, meanwhile, I'm going to keep an eye on what the price of Zoidpay does. I'm hoping it will sort of bounce back up and then I'll flip back into eGold maybe, something like that. I'll keep you up to date with what I do anyway. And the best way to know about that is to be subscribed to the YouTube channel. Even better, subscribe to the free Telegram group as well. Details are in the description down below.
And while you are down there, make sure you are subscribed to give the video a like and uh, make sure you've got the notifications set on all and all that good stuff. And above all, tell your friends.